Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to start a new series and that is an analysis of what some other singers do. I think there are some great lessons to be learned from other singers, which doesn't mean you should ever try to sound like someone, but you can try to emulate some of the technical skills that they know how to master. The first one I'm going to analyze today is Marcelito Pomoy and he sings the prayer in different voices. He sings the female and the male part. And I think it's a valuable lesson just because he uses both chest voice and head voice really well. Lots of transitions. Let's get into it. Wish 1075. Okay, I'm gonna comment here. He has a very bright voice color. He has really good vocal cord closure. You don't hear any breathiness, which is rare in guys. He has really great control over his head voice. You can hear some of the break when he goes down and dives into those really lowest pitches in his head voice. That is the same issue for female singers, by the way. It is really low and it's really easy to get to your break, but he does so well, even when he has more of a glottal onset. Love is clarity and the great vocal cord closure. Can help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be our Did you see how well he took his breath? He took a nice breath before the let this be our prayer. And he took this nice deep breath with expansion. You could see it. That's good technique right there. When we lose our way. Okay, I think it's easier for him to close that way, to close that vowel just a bit. He is more on the closed side of the vowel when he does some vowels like we and I think it's easier just because it's a little bit more narrow in the back of the tongue it really helps maintain that really nice clear color he's at the edge sometimes and that's normal because it's not extremely high in his head voice he just needs to be very careful not to push too much and just to be on that edge of still being in this clarity sound Nice breath. Just a tiny bit under pitch here, but you know, like I love singers who are human beings <laughs> and not auto-tuned. And he certainly, it's all raw and real. And, um, he is more on the closed side of some vowels sometimes. Probably, you know, if, if he were to sing something like all the way classical as a counter tenor, he would probably need to open up more. But I think for a pop song such as this one, it is permissible to be a little bit more on the closed side. It is just slightly more nasal resonance than openness, but it's still beautiful. La lucha que... See how, how his vibrato is so nice and even. This really helps the rounded tone. Now here, the lesson about, you see how he changes placements. You can even see how he changes his posture just a little bit. And I think, you know, he has this, he doesn't even have this extremely bright voice when he sings in his chest voice. It has some nice depth in it. But what I love is, again, that accuracy, that clarity, jumping back and forth. So you have to really work that tilt and untilt of the larynx so that the vocal cords 
can get into the different mechanism. You have to really work it and practice. This is great practice. If you practice this, this would be awesome practice for changing from one register to another. I love that. See, I love, I love how he goes high. And what I love about his lower register, he really tries to emulate that timbre. I love his warmth in his voice. And he has a lot of sensitivity. He doesn't just plow through, as I always call it. He has lots of dynamics. He uses different voice colors. It's not just one thing. That makes it even more difficult. So he just changes dynamics, meaning he gets a little softer, which is even harder. And he has wonderful phrasing. I have to say that the phrasing is excellent. And that makes a world of difference to have great musical phrasing, because otherwise it just sounds like uh, 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 uh. just every pitch sounds the same. And this is beautiful musical phrasing. Nice breath. Just pitch it a little. Oh, I mean, do you hear that? How he gets so beautifully soft and warm. He does have nice pharyngeal space here because otherwise you can't. But again, he has to be lead us to this place, place. I've sung this song many times myself, and this is a really hard place to sing. It's not as high in his chest, uh, in his head voice, because technically he's still singing an octave lower than I would. But it is still so excellently executed. It just, it's, it's beautiful, very high skills. Even the ad libs. And he does so well on the English, too. Oh, do you hear how he gets into how he plays with his vocal cord closure? It slides in a different place in my voice, but he gets this little bit of breathiness. It's not extremely breathy, but he plays with his vocal cord closure. And that's the principle I always teach when you sing higher and you want, when you want to have an intense tone, you want it to soar. You need better vocal cord closure, good compression that is subglottal, and then you will have that nice ping in your tone and the ring, and it'll just be nice and round and it'll travel. And then when you incorporate moments when you really just let go of that tension, but still you, you keep the space, the pharyngeal space, you keep the placement, you keep the support, and you keep that subglottal compression, but you just loosen those vocal cords a bit. Then you have full control, but you still can play with beautiful different voice colors. That's excellent. Okay, I hear just a tiny bit lowered larynx, but here's the thing. It is normal and it's natural for the larynx to lower more when you sing higher. It just gives you more space. There's a fine line sometimes between, okay, is this now still giving the larynx the freedom to move as you're changing vowels and pitches, or are you locking it in? I'm not hearing him lock it in. There's just short moments when it's just down maybe a little bit more than it would be naturally, but you need that in order to create some of the timbre that he wants to create. And he really wants to create that Andrea Bocelli kind of sound, very classical. And so lowering the larynx just a little bit, and he's not pushing it down a lot, I think still sounds really great. And he has a nice openness, although, you know, probably if I were 
to talk about you know, singing all the way classically um, in a very professional way. And he, I know he's self-taught and that is amazing what he taught himself. Um, probably classically, there would have to be just a little bit more opening and space, the vertical space. But I think it's perfect for this song. <laughs> Can I just say one thing? I think he has even better controlled onsets and offsets than Andrea Bocelli sometimes. I'm a fan of Andrea Bocelli, beautiful voice, very musical and very sensitive. But there's this tendency of a lot of classical singers, especially tenors, like they have this offset, like, oh, oh, they have this offset that is not extremely accurate and timed and just clean. Marcelito, however, he really does this very well and he has to and that's the reason why he really can go between the two registers. You can only do that when you're working from your core, from your support. Basically, you're controlling your onsets and offsets with your support and not with the epiglottis. Nice Italian. Oh, yes, the vocal cord closure. Nice ad libs. Okay, how wonderfully he played and he has such ease in just loosening up those vocal cords to have this beautiful, soft, sensitive tone. Just like every child Need to find a path Guide us with your grace Oh yes, I'm getting goosebumps. Would have been nice if he hadn't breathed there, but he... Okay, here we go. That's lowering the larynx in a very permissible way and oh, and the, the voice opens up. Nice breath. That offset was... Could have controlled it more with his diaphragm. See how nice he's open? Bravo! <laughs> and you know what's amazing? He's actually sitting down when he's singing this. I would always say to my students, okay, don't sit down when you sing stuff like that because you need your full support, you need control. It is really hard to sing this sitting down. And I'm always wondering why, like, when they do the Wish 107, they always actually sit down. Okay, <laughs> that is just pop. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I just want to give more value than just telling you this is wonderful. I want to really go down deep and I want to stop the video. I have to stop the video in order to explain certain things to you because after the moment has passed, you're not going to know. And if I just talk over it, we're going to miss things. So my feedbacks are going to be just for people who are interested in singers and their technique. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know below in the comments what other analyses you would like me to do what singers do you adore and you would like to know what they're doing, how they're singing that song. I want to dive deep. Get on my website on masteryourvoice.tv for free resources. You can get free courses on there to polish up on your own technique and also get my book on Amazon, Master Your Voice. You can also join my free Facebook group. It's called Master Your Voice to continue the conversation there and to get some more just connecting with other singers from all over the world. Have a most wonderful day. Until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. I must be strong.